Alright everyone, this is Game Guy 1984 here and today we are playing another flash game from commagames.com. This is called P Pierre Hotel. Now, there was a game or flash game released before Pierre Hotel, but the reason why I'm doing Pierre Hotel first is because this is, I believe, the last of the Karma games that did not have any voiceovers, any voice actors in it. So, I'm going to play this one first, and then the next one, which is A Night in Crazyville, that has voice actors. So, we'll play this one first since, since it doesn't have any voice actors. So, here we go. Let's get this thing started. I can't believe your boss gave us a free vacation. And to think, all this time, you were sure he hates you. I know. I can't believe it either. I'm so excited. Looks like we're here. The building is a bit strange. I'll go inside while you park the car. Hello. My wife just came in here. We have a reservation. No one came in here. Please show me your reservation. Um, I can't find it. I just saw my wife go inside right through this door. I believe you are mistaken. Now stop bothering me. So apparently something happened to his wife. We do not know what it is, so we have to find her. But do we really want to find her? I mean, what if the wife was really, really, really mean to him? He could, he could just say, you know what, screw my wife. I'm going to leave her here if she's missing and I can find another girl who actually you know can treat me right <laughs> but that's not the case Aww. <laughs> okay we'll find the wife so what do we do the first thing we do is to go back to the car to that door and we click it and we'll get a reservation and our diving equipment I took the hotel reservation and my diving equipment but I'm not sure if I'll need it or oh, you'll need the diving equipment and the reservation for sure. So we go back inside. We show this guy here the reservation. Hello, I have my reservation with me. Wonderful. I'll give you the key to your room. Here you go, room number one. Just go up these stairs. It's the second door on your right. Thank you. Now watch what he says. I don't trust that guy. He looks like a vampire. Remember that. That's because he is a vampire. I do not know what he has plans. Maybe he's gonna make his wife, his wife, you know, Bride of Dracula. <laughs> but let's go to our room and open the door. Let's just do that right now. As you can see here, we have a pumpkin and a telephone. We're going to need that. Look at that, Frankenstein and some other Dracula wannabe. Blood on the bed that's just oh you know that's a nice decoration we can use the phone that'll be for later right now what we're going to do we're going to go back downstairs and we're going to go here the elevator here is not working you see nice fire you see nice and warm here by the fire over here is actually a ladder we can go into later so we're going to go here and we cannot go here yet. I'm sorry, sir, but that error is for the hotel staff only. So, we cannot use the phone here either. I'm sorry, sir, but this phone is for the hotel staff only. Okay. So, let's talk to him. Hello, sir. May I, get, may I get you anything? What do you have? You can try our red wine, or perhaps you'd prefer our beer that's imported all the way from Romania. We also have a glowing cocktail. We can try the red wine. It does nothing. Enjoy your drink, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Tastes a bit like iron. Okay. Okay, same thing. We can try the beer. Enjoy your drink, sir. Thank you. Tasty beer and a very amusing coaster. We will need that coaster for later. So we can try the last one, which is a glowing cocktail. That glowing blue cocktail looks toxic. I'd better keep it and take it for a lab inspection later. We will need that coaster. I mean this glowing cocktail later. But right now you see the coaster here. Pierre Hotel Bar. 555-4143. Give me my beer and no one gets hurt. Yes. 
but the number is what we will need to remember. So we'll go back to our room. And trust me, we will go back to our room again and again and again. At least once more after after this. So here we go. Once we go to our room, call the number. I like the phone, it's like a very old dial phone, you know. Five 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 four one four three. Pierre Hotel Bar. Hello? Um, yes. Hello. How are you? Hello? I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Could you speak up? Never mind. I just called to check if the phone was working. Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? I think that's enough. So now, we go back to, um, excuse me, my lips are a bit blistered or dry. We go back to the bar. To our left, right here. You see, he's preoc preoccupied at the moment. Hello, I can't hear you. Hello, hello. Now we have access to the stat, to this area here. What do we have here? We have a key, Mr. Key. We have a knife. The knife might be useful. And we have here. There's a can of spam and chili paste in here. We will need those. This key here is actually for. The broom closet, so we'll go back to upstairs. Yes, I know a lot of backtracking back and forth. You gotta love it, right? But it's nowhere near as complicated as other Flash games from other sites, so you'll know what I mean. I might play those one day. But for now, we're playing this. This here is for the broom closet. We unlock it. We have here a bucket and a broom. So now, what do we do? We go back to my room, of course. This is this is the absolute last time we'll go back to this room here for sure. We use this knife to carve the pumpkin. There was a hidden note inside that pumpkin. We'll look at that note later. Right now, we're going to actually go downstairs and back to the back area where there's like all that place, you know, with the pot. And the spam and all that cheese and whatnot, you know. So we go here. We place the bucket here. And now we're gonna get a bucket full of water. See? A bucket full of water. We go back to the fireplace. Remember the fireplace? It had a ladder. Now with the bucket of water, we can now take out the fire. Boom. There is a ladder in here. I'm going to check where it leads. Yes, you should. So we go up the ladder. It's dark in here. I can't see a thing. This is where the glowing cocktail will come into play. There's a ledge here you can see if we click here. There's a ledge here. So we place the glowing, co glowing cocktail on the ledge. And now we have here a mechanism. Now remember the, note, remember the note that we got from the pumpkin? Let's see it right now. 4938. So we enter. Four, nine, three, eight. I think I've managed to activate the elevator. There we go. Please note that this combination here, this four, this four button combination, will change every time you start a new game. So let's say you refresh the browser. This code will be different every single time. It will not stay the same. However, however, the code to here, this number, will remain the same. So this will, will remain the same. This will change every time you start a new game. So remember that. So we go down. Into the elevator we go. Ding ding. Let's go to the left now. As you can see here. It looks like the stairs behind this door lead to the pool's entrance. I can't swim in this dirty water without protection. So this is where... Our, our diving equipment will come into play. So we click on. Oh, I better get through the stairs. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We click on the diving equipment and the door afterwards. So here we go. What do we get with our diving equipment? I found a quarter. So now we go in here. There's a place we can go in here or go into. This is an arcade machine. 
I need a, I need a quarter to play, so we click on the quarter and we click on the arcade. Match the faces before time runs out. Hurry! We have 15 seconds. I'm going to stay silent and try to concentrate. So here we go. Damn it. Man, that's a hard one, you know. 15 seconds with that much faces to match. You gotta be really good in recognizing the differences, you know. Really good. For some people, they could probably solve it in half the time. Or probably just with only 5 seconds remaining. But for me, I, I barely scratch the surface. I barely make it, you know. Look at that. I want to cross. Alright. So now we go back upstairs to the receptionist who is actually a vampire we're going to use the cross on it on him I should say so let's kill the vampire yes now if you now I did not mention this but there's a button up here I can't reach it this is where the broom comes into play we use the broom to hit the button boom what do we see? We see your wife tied up with a guard dog. So, in order to um, get rid of this guard dog, we're going to need to use the chili and combine it with the spam. Then, we're going to use the spam and give it to this guard dog. And that will end the game right then and there. Bye bye dog. Thank you very much for helping us. Now we have the entire hotel to ourselves. So if you don't mind. Yeah. That's right. Make whoopee. <laughs> so that is it for this game here. As you can see, this is a night in Crazyville, but we'll play that later. So with that, I am GameGuy1984, and if you like this video, then please rate and comment. Then I encourage you encourage you to watch my other videos see if you like the content that I put out and then if you like what you see then please subscribe I'm signing out see ya